Hey what's up guys, Eskazoo here and welcome to episode 13 of Skill Into Glory and uh, we're gonna start today's episode off by actually switching back to the 4-3-2-1 skill team because of an injury we actually picked up and it was a striker, Alexander Pato, who got an injury so uh, I mean, we were forced to change teams I decided to uh, go all be the first game and we come up against a 5 at the back La Liga side, a pretty decent looking team as well with some great looking players and uh, we start things off in the third minute here with El Shawari, a lot of space, it was pretty much 3 versus 1, I went with the chip, I went Quadrado which the goalkeeper just saved, unfortunately no rebound there for us, then uh, from a free kick my opponent completely messed up, we send Muriel away who goes 1-1 and excellent slots at home as well in the bottom corner again was thinking of going with a chip but a great finish shot around the goalkeeper to make it 1-0 and give us a lead in the game then 25th minute Quadrado with some great skin was went with a cheeky cross there which PK actually managed to clear away so again we were very very close to make another goal then my opponent got himself a big chance here too from a free kick which I think was one of the first big chances yet in the game and uh, he was very very close hit the crossbar then 58th minute in the second half he gets himself another chance with Torres and then from the rebound, it is actually Ben Yedder who heads it in. A really annoying goal because I felt that the goalkeeper just should have cleared it away properly. But um, yeah, it wasn't really the greatest save. Then a couple minutes later into the second half, we set a lot of pressure here with El Shirari. Beats the defender there and then uh, we do get a shot in here with Muriel. Which I have to say was with so much luck because I actually tried to pass it off to Quadrado. And then whilst I actually pressed B, the shot actually got deflected by the defender. And that was the main reason why he went into the back of the net. So he'd make it 2-1, a bit of an own goal I think it was. But it actually counted for a goal for Muriel. Then 85th minute, my opponent goes through, sets a lot of pressure, goes inside the box. And then shoots randomly with Gabi and makes it 2-2. Again, the goalkeeper wasn't looking that great, but uh, we still had a few minutes left. We're going into extra time here in the 90th minute. Played on through here to Quadrado, who was free. And then a great finish from him into the bottom corner, making it 3-2 in the 90th minute, just like in the previous episode, where we also uh, secured the win that late in the game. And um, yeah, we picked up ourselves another three points and uh, we're very, very close to, uh, to promotion now, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, that is definitely the aim for this episode. Uh, before we went into the next game, I actually noticed we had an injury and it was just not like a, a small injury. We had Chalonoglu out for five games. So I was pretty much forced to buy a, a upper body card because I'm not going to play five games with a different team because obviously the fitness will be really, really bad on the other side. So I decided to pick one up. You can see right there, I decided to apply it to Chalanoglu. Picked it up for a thousand coins, which is quite a lot for just an injury card. But um, I thought it was worth it, especially since I feel that this team is actually really, really good. But uh, anyway, we're going to go on what will be the second game. Come up against a 4-1-2-1-2 Premier League side. Again, a really strong team. And we start things off with the main man here. A free kick, not really the best one. Obviously, would have loved to see that one go into the top corner already. Then in the 18th minute, Quadrado with some skill. We lose the ball. We pick it up here with Niyang. A fancy pass to El Shirari. Chips it back to Niyang. A really, really bad in, uh, interception there from his defender. And then a great bit of LTRT from Niyang, who makes it 1-0 as well. Uh, actually decided to sub him on instead of Muriel uh, before we actually went into this game because uh, Muriel was on low fitness. And uh, Niyang played actually amazingly in the first 30 minutes. He actually makes it 2 Nil here as well with some great skill moves and um, yeah I was definitely happy that I actually like put him into the team instead of the uh, Colombian but uh, anyway we continue on here 28th minute straight from kickoff setting a lot of pressure with our attackers uh, Cordado here going through goes inside the box and I smashed it into the top corner like it's nothing 3-0 already with an only 30 minutes play and uh, it was not over 45th minute here it is El Shirari the 5 star skiller on the left hand side goes with the fake Rabona to the double touch exit to beat the defender I was hoping to reach to Neon with a Rabona cross but it just looked like a Rabona shot instead which was uh, a bit annoying but uh, anyway uh, after that we set a lot of pressure again pick it up here with Quadrado we go with the in air Remo flick and then, just seriously, look at this. The bad interception from his defender. I don't know what happened, but we managed to smash it in with the Colombian himself. Make it 4-0. And you can see from the halftime stats, that was just complete domination from us. And uh, that was the reason for my opponent to actually leave during halftime. He decided to rage quit after he was down 4-0 and barely created anything. So, um, yeah, just an amazing half pretty much. Scored some really nice goals. I wish the final goal, though, would have like looked like a lot better because it just looked really, really weird with like the play bad interceptions and stuff but um, anyway 4-0 it was another 3 points and uh, that means if we win the next game we actually do uh, pretty much promote to Division 5 still have some games left in order to win the title 
But um, that is definitely something I want to accomplish for this episode. So uh, going into the final game, came up against a really decent team again, a uh, Serie A side. And uh, we started things off amazingly with Carrillo. A brilliant goal there from him. A really, really nice skill goal already after only 10 minutes, uh, making 1-0 for us in the game. Then a 43rd minute to this, 2-1 uh, here on the ball. I was hoping for a 1-2 here with Pato. You can see him making the run. We go to fake shot to beat the defender. We continue on with some more skill moves with Pato. We go for a shot. Good save there from his goalkeeper as well. Then uh, going into the second half, it's again a two-run here on the ball. Was actually playing really, really well in this game. Uh, we have the ball on the right-hand side with Carrillo. Tried to chip it there to Rafinha. Lose the ball, pick it up again with Carrillo. Continue on with some more skill moves. It actually looked like we were going to lose the ball. But then we get another shot in. And again, a great save from us, a goalkeeper. Then 60th minute. Again, some great stuff here from both Rafinha and Turan. A brilliant ball from Rafinha all the way to Musana. I mean, that pass was seriously one of the best ones I've seen this FIFA. From myself anyway. Like, it, was, it wasn't really even powerful, but it was just so well placed. That Musana was completely free. I made it 2-0. Um, towards the end, my opponent got himself a chance too. But it wasn't enough. To uh, get him a goal, you can see right there, we ended up winning the game 2-0. to nil. So, uh, an awesome way to end up this episode. We do promote to Division 5, and hopefully in the next episode, we are able to win the title as well. So, yes, guys, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.